Last episode I focused on improving the bed frame. Today I'll turn my attention to the solar. I'll take you through how I installed this recessed Victron solar panel along with the cable glands and wiring to fit it. If you're enjoying these videos, please remember to like the video, subscribe and leave a comment. The panel is recessed so that I can continue to use the roof racks to transport full sheets of plywood without causing damage. The original plan for this episode was to keep the focus inside of the van. Since I'm not going to be installing the roof window on this van, I no longer have need for the cutouts because I already need to take these down in order to use them as templates for new panels without the cutout. I figured I would may as well do the solar whilst they're down because I'm going to have to drill through the roof and wherever I decide to put that hole will be somewhere on the other side of one of these. And I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So these are coming down now to make that easier. Oh, I thought I secured all this insulation up. Evidently not. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm going to start by drilling a hole for the cable glands. You'll want to install it so that the cable entry faces the rear of the van. This way any moisture flying along the roof while driving, especially on the motorway, won't get in. There will be a grommet here but it's best to make things as easy as possible for yourself. I think it's going to sit around here which translates to somewhere in there. So this is my chosen spot for the glands. So what I'm going to do is just lift it off carefully leaving the bit of foam in place and I'm just going to pop a little dot at the centre where the hole's going to be and I'm going to drill that out to 15mm but to start with I'll drill a small pilot hole. We'll widen it so it will fit the step drill bit first. Now I'll use a bit of oil or a load of oil to both help the drill bit work a bit more efficiently and it should also stop the swarf from spreading too much, making it easier to clean up afterwards. You can pick up a lot of the swarf with a magnet. There we go, we got a grommet that is a, seems to be the right size. The sizes on the box don't match the grommets, but the grommet seems to match the hole pretty nicely. It is a tad small, but I think if I stick that down, it'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not certain as to whether I've got enough of this solar cable. So before I cut any of it, I'm gonna run both ends down through the glands and see if they'll reach the solar charge controller from the solar panel. And the way this works is you push the cables through this grommet, which pushes into there. And then when you close this up, it squishes the grommet and forces it to expand in a different direction, um, effectively sealing the gap. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll run one of them through. As long as I maintain the halfway point with a bit of masking tape, I can run one half of the cable down through the walls of the van where it will go, down through here, through my entry point in the back of the bed, in the side of the bed, and then that drops through, through the slot, and then I've left ample so that it can be trimmed and put into the PV terminals. So that is half of the cable exactly up to here. Now I now need to just pop the solar panel back on the roof and see if the tails are long enough 
for them to be joined up. But yes, it's getting far too late to be doing any more this evening, so I'll resume tomorrow. Okay, new day, it's nice calm conditions. Perfect for installing solar. So the next thing I'm gonna do is drill the holes for fixing the glands down. And I can use the pad to help me with that because it's got cutouts ready for me. So I want this to be central over the grommet. And that looks pretty good. Perfect, I can drill those out now. Just got to be careful when you're drilling through that you don't drill through and hit any of your cables. So just have to go down and make sure they're pointed in a direction that they're not in line with your drill bit. Lovely. So these, these holes are designed for M4 bolts. So I'm going to drill these holes out to 4.5 mil. It gives me that tiny bit of wiggle room so I'm not forcing the bolt through. Then once you're done drilling, you need to get rid of all of the metal filings. Just need to degrease the roof around where I'm going to be sticking the glands down. Here I'm making a cardboard template that is about five millimeters larger than the glands all the way around. I'll stick that to the roof of the van and then when it comes to sticking the glands down with the OB-1, I can prevent it from going everywhere. Okay, so I've just taped the uh, cable here so, so it's not in my way. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna untape it. No, that would have been fine. That would have been fine for the moment. Take there for the moment because all I'm doing is putting some OB-1 on this surface. So first I'm gonna fill in the holes, then I will run a bead around the edge. Right, so now I'm gonna add this. Of course, what I've now done is uh, covered up the holes and I can't see. It should be pretty easy to line up. So that's going on there like so. Better, isn't it? And now I'll just double check that these are lined up. That is going to end up on a hell of a mess. That's not. It is. No. Nope. Ye of little faith. I need some, I need that held, don't I? I can't reach yeah. from here. You didn't think it through, did you? This is going to be the best sealed thing ever. Yeah. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Okay. By the time you squish this down, there's been enough OP1, it's going to spread over the whole roof. So now, this is the tricky bit. Are you a Navy seal? No, I'm a Marine seal. Yeah, that's what I, the one thing I didn't think of is how I pick it up. You just know this is going to end badly. Oh, you're recording it. I am recording. Excellent. Yeah, watch this. Oh God, it's trying to pull out of my hands. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm thoroughly impressed with your idea. Wait, you haven't seen it yet. Now spin it like this. Is that right? Yeah. So, and it's a rear entry, isn't it, this one? I knew I'd get it all over my hands from the start, but... Right, so now, now I need my three bolts because that will line it all back up again. The trouble is, is I think I should have had it assembled before I put it down. Yeah, that's my mistake. Can you just stick your head on in there and just see that the bolts have appeared? Yeah. So I need, I've got that screwdriver up here, haven't I? No, because you'll be underneath can, can doing that. Oh, you want me under here? Yeah. Uh, let and me know once you've got them kind of on and then I'll use the screwdriver. I'm just clearing the stuff off them first without getting it all over me, but I think that's a lost cause. Where are the nuts? Up here. I'll yeah. pass them down. This one? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get them all on first. All right, other one? That one? Yeah. Right, uh, they should be in the... In the M4 washer? Correct. Shove the bolt through. Okay. 
Yeah. Ooh. I'm left-handed. I'm doing this right-handed. Do you want me to do the turning? No. Did your nuts just drop? One of them did. Yeah, that's not fiddly in any way at all. Is it on? It is. It is now. Right, I'm going to have to uh, use a ratchet. Okay, how tight do you want it? Uh, well, like tight, not really knit, but like tight so it's not going to slide around. Okay, next one. Okay, that should do it. All right. Okay, now I've got to really get a move on, haven't I? Well, because it's it's, it's going to start to set, isn't it? Let's get your skates on. That's what, I, that's what I just said. Right, okay, so we've got that there down. I should have brought some with me. Uh, I saw some in the back of the um, aid van. Somebody donated for a car boot. Oh, I thought you meant for aid. <laughs> we need ice skates. Um, I need a rag. I think this one I've got here will do. Right, that's fine. I'm just gonna go. It's wiped enough to. Cause I've got. I've, I, can't, I can't. I don't think I can afford to spend time uh, clearing that when I've got to get this in. Because this is the. I've got to get. Because I've got to get the cover on before everything sets and gets in the way. I thought the idea was you don't put the cover on. <sighs> no, I I changed my mind. Uh, I need something. Is it in yet, Matt? So that goes in there. Then we slide these through here. So it would have been it's a real struggle to get this one on because it's you're squishing the grommet. Yeah, we don't move tight now. No, it's not going. You've got to get it in to start with. Is it in yet, man? No. I need a I need a drill. A drill? Yeah, to screw it in unless that one's over tightened. Yeah, and loosen that one off. <sighs> we got it? Maybe. No, that one's too tight. <sighs> tighten it until it doesn't want to easily tighten by hand. Right, let's see. I, am I going to bodge this by going around like that? No, I'm going to tidy it up. Final result is something that I am very pleased with. It's been several weeks now since I put this on and of course, as I showed you in the intro, the panel is also installed, but I left it this long to film this segment so that I could be sure that what I have done is fully waterproof because we've had some torrential rain uh, in the last couple of months or so and the inside of the van is bone dry. So that is a success. In the next episode, I'll be sure to show you how I installed the panel itself, as well as how I modified the roof racks to enable it to be recessed. Well, I hope you're enjoying this content. I would wager that you are because you're still watching. And I think this video has been going on for what, 15 minutes now. But if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. You know, what do you think of Dan being in the videos? Personally, I think they bring out a bit more of my personality and they make the videos a little bit more entertaining because, you know, he's a pretty funny guy, isn't he? Um, but let me know what you think, what you'd like to see, um, and I'll see you in the next one for the solar panel install.